uh, this is Guitar Trek. I am Richard J. Dowling, and welcome to this week's Song Showcase. Every week I upload two videos. One where I show you the idea I have had for, for a song, and the second video I show you the finished song with lyrics. Um, it's all done very lo-fi, just on the, at the moment just on this uh, semi-acoustic. Um, sometimes I plug it in to the, to the I, plug, I go direct and sometimes it's just the, the, the acoustic sound. I mean the idea is just to show you the construction of the melodies and the chords and the lyrics, not so much about arrangements. So this week um, the song is, the song idea I have is, well I always wanted to do a big um, 90s style ballad like one of my favorite groups Echo and the Bunnymen had a song in the 90s called Nothing Lasts Forever and I've always wanted to do something like that and every now and again I have, I have a go I try and do something so today I have um, an idea which is in that type of 90s indie ballad style so here we go Okay, so uh, at the moment it's just a verse and a chorus, um, no lyrics obviously, just the la la la's for the moment, hopefully in the next video, well in fact in the next video the lyrics will be finished because I won't upload it until it is. Um, <clears throat> so just to speak a little bit about the, the chord progression, it's um, at the moment it's all diatonic chords, these are all chords in the key of, in this case, C major. So we go from C to G then from G to the A minor, then F, C, G, and that's the verse, it repeats. Then to transition into the chorus, um, I went to the G7, um, which is very commonly used to for moments of transition, in this case from the chorus, from the verse to the chorus. Um, but normally you'd expect that that would lead back into, into C, but I stayed on the on the F note and went to F major for the for the chorus. So the chorus begins in F major, and of course the melody goes higher. Um, the, I mean it's sort of naturally happens. I don't tend to, to, you don't. I mean when I'm composing songs, I'm just playing around with chords and melodies and. I don't tend to think beforehand, I have to do this or I have to do that. What tends to happen is something happens and I think, I like that, I'll keep that. And in this case, the melody line went up in the chorus. That is a very common thing um, that happens, that commonly the melodies go up because it gives you a sense of uplift and uh, excitement and something's happening, so we're in the chorus. Uh, although there have been some really great songs where the chorus actually goes, uh, drops. Uh, the Roxy Music did a lot of songs where the chorus like street life, it's actually sort of spoken low. I think Ultravox had a, a few songs like that, The Thin Wall. Um, you know, most of our references are from the 80s, 70s and so forth. So, you know, look those up if you, don't, if you haven't heard them. Um, then, uh, that was it really, that's it. So it's a verse and a chorus at the moment. 
Um, maybe I'll add another section. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it, uh, this will depend on the lyrics and the direction that the song takes when I'm when I'm writing it. Um, you saw, may if you, well if you haven't, you, the the last week's episode, the first the first song, I did a middle eight, um, because it seemed to be it's a very repetitive song. So in that case, you might want to vary the structure. It all depends on you know as your what what feels right. If you feel, I mean, songs are usually a sort of balance between repetition and variation. You don't want things to be too repetitive, um, unless the genre is you know more more uh, more a repetitive genre. Um, and then if it's too varied, then you run the risk of the the listener isn't able to follow the melody. They don't know where you're going to go next. So you you sort of you literally you lose. Um, the listener you have to be very I mean you know obviously when it comes to variety Bohemian Rhapsody as a song comes to mind because it seems that it's constantly varying but you know they were queen they were masters so they can do they did what they want um, and I think that's about all I have to say I um, hope you enjoy this look into uh, my process and it's not that I think I'm good at writing songs but I, it's something I, I, I love doing I'm always writing songs and it would be nice if, if you know, if people enjoyed the songs, enjoy listening to me talk about how they arrive. And so, you know, if you do like like the channel, subscribe, um, put your comments, let me know what you think. And I hope to upload the finished version of this song sometime soon, sometime this week. In the meantime, take care. Bye bye.